New at 10, one month before an accused serial scammer is due back in court for fraud, a group of sisters say that man, Ed Kavanaugh, is now scamming people using social media. CBS 2's Marissa Parra sat down with the sisters who claim to be his latest victims. This is the reason why we hired him. Annie Duggan shows me the home repairs she hired Ed Kavanaugh for. But the once friendly face around the Duggan sisters' yard now keeps them awake at night. I find him to be really a scary person to me now to know that I invited this felon, this convict, this con artist into my home. $8,000 the Duggan sisters trusted him with. They hired him, but they had no idea about his past. Until now. I have about 11 pages single spaced of information. She says through her own investigation, she's found he has a criminal record dating back roughly a quarter of a century. His background shows various charges, even recent convictions of fraud. Facebook, she says, is his latest hunting ground. I found at this point about 60 different aliases. He recruits via mommy like neighborhood groups. He uses a false name at that point to give the referral, pretending that he's a local mom. Here he is in a police booking photo from 2018 in Addison, arrested for two counts of violating the Assumed Business Name Act and operating a business without a license. The Attorney General's office is trying to ban him from advertising or selling any appliances. Yet here he is in their living room discussing doing just that. We've Giving him a cup of tea when he had a sore throat. He's very charming and makes you know it makes you feel like you're safe and he's here to help you. Here he is again, just this month on a ladder in their backyard. We decided to give him a call. Hi, is this Ed Kavanaugh? He was not happy, but he denied any wrongdoing. He denied any fraud. He even denied knowing the Duggan sisters at first. But he did say we didn't have the full story. Can we interview you? When I asked if he had heard anything about the attorney general's office, he said no, despite the fact that they filed a lawsuit against him back in October of 2018 and the fact that he's due back in court a month from now. The Duggan sisters say they know the attorney general's office is hard at work, but they're left to wonder how he's still out there to be hired in the first place. Time is ticking. Every day that he's out there, he's potentially scamming other families. The attorney general's office says victims of fraud should always file a complaint on their website or call the consumer fraud hotline. Or if you want to get in touch with the sisters we interviewed, they have a victim's hotline. We have the details on our website. Just pull up CBS Chicago on your smartphone. In the newsroom, Marissa Parra, CBS 2 News. Marissa, our thanks.